watching Let's Chat. Glad to have you back here with us as we continue on Let's Chat. It's a beautiful Tuesday, and you know what else is beautiful? Baseball season, which is literally right around the corner, which means our next guest here is working extra overtime. He works overtime all throughout the year. It's Rich Mazingo, president of the Lookouts. Rich, good to see you. Hey, man, it's good to be here. Thanks. Uh, you and I talked a few weeks ago about setting this particular date mm -hmm. up, and obviously mm -hmm. there's a lot that's changed yes. over the yes. past, what, 22, 23 days. Yeah. Uh, bring us up to speed from your seat where we are right now with getting this stadium kicked off. Well, we're, we're, we're really going a good direction right now, Chip. We've had, uh, we've had great cooperation lately from the city and the county. They both got together. They mm -hmm. sat at the same table. And they've come up with a plan that they think is going to work for everybody. And, and, and you got to give credit to those guys. You know, they, they did their due diligence. They reached out to each other and figured out what was going to make the most sense for everybody. So about a week and a half ago, they voted on a memorandum of understanding. That's mm -hmm. what, the, what the deal's going to be. Right. They have voted on it. They've passed it. They both stood up in front of everyone and said, this is the plan that we want to go forward. So uh, we're heading the right direction. You know, the new stadium, it's going to add another, what, three or 4,000 seats at least. And one of the cool things about the new stadium is, and I know this is not baseball specific, mm -hmm. but take baseball out of the equation for this new stadium. What else is that going to bring to this area around here? Well, believe it or not, that might be the most exciting part for me. So let's just take the stadium itself first. Right. The stadium, we're going to have places in there, Chip. If you want to have a 25-person get-together mm -hmm. on a non-game day, we're going to have a great conference room that you can do that in. We're going to have different clubs throughout the ballpark. If you've got 500 people you want to sit down for dinner, we're going to be able to host that at our ballpark now. Wow. There's unbelievable old buildings over there that we're not knocking to the ground that we're going to incorporate into this ballpark, and that's going to be huge. So what we could do on non-baseball game days, that's really the most exciting part. But you said another thing, too, that was very interesting to me. What's it going to bring to the south side? And I drove around a few minutes before I got here today. Mm -hmm. The things that are going on in your neighborhood, people want to be near you now. I mean, there's apartments going in. There's development going in. There's development literally right across right. the street from where you are. So, so many good things are happening on the south side. And really, that's what this thing was whole, all designed to do, was really redevelop the south side of Chattanooga. And it's happening in a big way already. You mentioned our city and county leaders did their due diligence. Mm -hmm. And I know when you're getting into some of the numbers that were floated around, mm -hmm. everybody wants to make sure that they've got their own bases covered. Absolutely. Among other things mm -hmm. covered. Mm -hmm. But now that that has happened, uh -huh. longer term, this is actually going to be a money maker, a money generator. It absolutely is. It's it absolutely not gonna, is. It's not going to chop the legs off of anybody that's standing in the way. Well, number one, there's no taxpayer dollars, no existing taxpayer dollars going into this at all. It is all money that's developed from this district that we're in right now. So all the building that's happening from the time the TIF district went into place until 30 years from now, all the revenues from that go to pay off the debt for the stadium. But more importantly, when the stadium's built, when it's up and moving, we project that over $180 million is going to straight to the schools. $180 million to our schools. It's a big That's unbelievable. Change. We're talking about $100 million going into the general fund for the city and the county over the, the next 30 years. That's a ton of money going into this city. And just from the lookouts, obviously, you're going to have more space. You're probably going to need to employ more people. How many families are you going to help put food on their table once this is up and running? Gosh, when you look at it that way, Chip, no, so let's take away the whole construction project. Right. Because that's a massive, massive project that will take years and years and years. Sure. All the construction that will go on around it. But when you talk about just lookouts only, we'll probably double the size of our staff. I mean, we'll double the size of our front office staff. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we hire about 300 people every year right this minute. That number is probably going to get closer to 600 people that we're going to have in lookouts uniforms throughout the course of the year. Well, I can't wait. Uh, and I can't wait for the opening day of the upcoming baseball yes, season, yeah. but especially when this new stadium gets underway. You're going to be 10 feet tall and bulletproof when that first <laughs> pitch is thrown at the new stadium. Um, tell me quickly, we've only got about 60 seconds left. Mm -hmm. What are you looking forward to most about the upcoming 2024 Baseball season. Oh, I just I think once again springs in the air and we're playing baseball, and that's always my favorite part. We got we got a great team coming in. Looks like we got two or three really top prospects coming mm -hmm. in. But we got cool events. We're going back to our old one night a year used car night. So we're gonna have a blowout in August. We'll give away 10, 11, 12 cars that day. Wow. We're having Louie Bluey. 
the the character Bluey come in, <laughs> yeah. who's everybody's favorite. He's right. coming in this year on June 30th. So we're looking forward to that. Pirates night, Pirates and Princesses night, uh, Margaritaville night. We're going to run the gamut this year. You guys always do, and I ask you this every year. I don't know how you keep making the excitement around the ballpark more and more tangible so thick you can cut it with a knife but you do each and every year and I don't know how you do it and I'll tell you folks who don't know Rich Mazingo on a non baseball season day Rich is not just walking from one place to another he is strutting he is going <laughs> with a purpose between now and the time the the season kicks off this year you're gonna be double timing it right 28 days man and you're right we will double time it from here 28 there. days mm -hmm. and season tickets are still available Available, right? Absolutely. Just call the office or go to lookouts.com. We can take care of anything you need right there. Rich, you're the man. You always have an open invitation to come back here and join us you're any time. Thanks and I can't wait me. to see you at the new stadium. Stick around. We're going to take a break. We are back with more coming up today. Join us here at 12 minutes.